Hey guys, uh, yeah, just coming back with another gimbal video for you. Um, I wanted to just talk about the pieces that you need to uh, build build a gimbal, such as this one here, right? Um, so here's the rundown. Okay, it's. If you Google it, you'll find you'll find these parts for sure. Uh, I try and post links to it, but uh, the sellers on AliExpress and Banggood, you know, they they move around and the le links keep breaking. So um, I'll tell you right now, uh, yeah, I got most of this stuff off AliExpress, and if you go in there and you search on Storm Thirty Two Brushless Gimbal version 1.32 uh, you'll find most of what you need there so yeah and then there's three motors on the gimbal there's your yaw pitch and roll so yaw roll and pitch right that, those are your three axes so what you need for those, um, what I've been working with anyways, is a 2805 140K V motor. It's about, uh, yeah, that, that's your yaw motor here. Um, it's uh, about 35 millimeters uh, diameter and 14 mils thick. Yeah, the uh, roll, and pitch motors are 2204 K, uh, 260 KV, and they measure out to uh, 28 mils diameter and 15 mils thick. And uh, search for, you know, you gotta look specifically for gimbal motors. So you'd punch in, you know, 2805 brushless gimbal motor. Again, AliExpress will come up with the results and uh, You'll notice the gimbal motors have, you know, the, the top and bottom are flat with uh, both sides have mounting holes in them for screws. And then they have a hollow shaft as well. So you can run, um, run your wires through them if you choose. And uh, it is, it is, uh, it keeps things a lot tidier, you know, didn't do it on all of them, but I have run the wires through the center of the yaw motor there. So that's, that's made it a lot easier and you get more uh, potential motion out of it. So, okay. Um, now the frame, right? Uh, we've looked at this before, but this is, I bought my gimbal with the frame. So it came with the board, uh, the motors and all the different arms and whatnot to connect it um, and it's designed for a GoPro. So, you know, uh, that's all good. Um, uh, I was able to, to work with it, but you know, if I knew then what I knew now, I would have just built the custom frame right off the bat. And it's just aluminum bar stock, right? So you have this arm here between the yaw and the roll motors and then you have another arm between the roll and the pitch motors right you can see i've drilled extra mounting holes here so i can adjust the position and that's to help the balance we'll talk about that in a sec and the last little bit is just you know, right on the end to hold the uh, the camera on. So a couple pieces of aluminum I used uh, for the bigger arms, right? So for this arm and this arm here, I used one eighth inch thick aluminum bar stock. It's about three mils thick. And then this arm here, 
you can see it's it's a little bit wider as well. I think it's uh, I don't know, is it an inch? Yeah, it's an inch wide. And that just, uh, you know, gives it some beef there because that, that bracket takes a bit of a beating. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and of course, you're using thicker aluminum, so a little bit longer screws. Those are two mils by six millimeters Phillips head screws. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it works pretty good. So, okay, balance, right? I've mentioned a few times you need your gimbal to be balanced. So all that means is that for each of these motors, right, the weight on one side has to be equal to the weight on the other. So it doesn't want to sort of move in a certain direction, right? If all the weight was up top, it'd want to sort of flop over like this or like that, right? So you want to, to be equal on both sides. And the same with this one and the same with this one. And then it, it uh, you know, the gimbal motors are, are strong, but they're not super strong. So, you know, as you're going through bumps and jumps and, you know, pulling G's on turns, if things are out of balance, you'll notice, oh, you know, ooh, you get shunted to the side your view gets thrown off and that, you know, you know, if it's minor, then the gimbal just recovers and you carry on. If it's, if it's too much, then the gimbal can, can glitch out and needs to be a uh, reset. So yeah. So, okay. We talked about the parts, the frame. All right. Okay. So the frame doesn't have unlimited range of motion. I've kept kept it within, I don't know, a little bit. And that helps it uh, during a crash to not, you know, turn itself around and like this cable here would get uh, yoinked on if that happened. Um, and after a crash, if it's more or less in the right place, I can press the reset on my transmitter and the gimbal will just kind of pop up. And level itself and uh, I'm good to go again so so yeah that's uh, that's what I got for you today hope it helps uh, sorry about the links they're all gonna be broken in like all my other videos but just google it storm 32 brushless gimbal controller version 1.3.2 or 1.32 there's there's a lot of 1.30 boards I don't know I don't know if they'll work as well as this one. They probably will. They might not. Um, and then, yeah, the motors. So 2805, 140 kV and 2204, 260 kV. Um, and make sure you get um, brushless gimbal style motors. So they'll have the proper mounting holes on either side. And um, uh, the the hollow shaft that you can put the put the wires through. All right. Uh, any questions? Of course, leave them down below. Happy to get back to you about it. Uh, check Jipper, J I P P E R R, on our C groups. That's uh, I've got a blog there with a bunch of uh, other details about the gimbal and probably some photos and stuff. And, uh, yeah, hope it helps and, uh, hope to see you out there running. Cheers.